Today we're going to be installing this wireless monitoring system for our propane tanks so that we can get an accurate reading on how much propane we actually have in our tanks. Now, we're not getting paid for this. We didn't get a free product. Uh, we just bought it because we heard it was good. And so we're going to try it out. We'll let you know if it works well for us or not. Now, before we tried one of these monitors that you can get at you know, Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever, and we found that it's not super accurate. So we wanted something a little more accurate. Um, this monitoring system that we're going to try today uses sonar technology, which sends a signal up through the tank, sends that signal to an app on your phone, and tells you exactly how much propane you have in each one of your tanks. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up the app, and we'll show you how to do that. Here is everything that you get in the kit. You get two of these monitors. One of these each will go on the bottom of the tanks. And this is what sends the signal to your cell phone on the app. Uh, you'll get some grease. And because they want you to grease up the little sensor before you stick it to the bottom of the tank. This is a separate monitor that you can mount in your RV wherever your monitoring systems are for your tanks and whatnot. It comes with screws so you can mount that. And you also have these brackets down here which we're not going to use. These brackets are used for if your tank is sitting on the ground. This gives them a little bit of elevation off of the ground so that, that sonar technology can do what it does. But since these are mounted in the RV and they're already up off the ground, don't have to worry about using these. All right, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to find this uh, tank check app by Mopeka and go ahead and install that onto your phone. To find the app, you just... Uh, Type in LPG tank check and it should come right up. All right, once you have the app installed, you're gonna go ahead and open the app, and launch it. Once you launch the app, it will start scanning and as it's scanning, you uh, push the sync button on these sensors one time each. Now we have added one of the sensors. Press the sync button for the next one. If you're having trouble getting them to sync, uh, just press and hold the sync button and those those new um, sensors should show up as a device now. So now we have both of our sensors added as devices onto our app and now we can start with the uh, physically mounting the sensors onto the tanks. Well now that we have the app installed, the next thing we need to do is to install the sensors on the bottom of the tanks. First thing you need to do, just grab a cleaner and a rag and make sure that the bottom of the tank is clean of dirt and debris that way you get a good signal from the bottom of that tank all the way up all right now comes the very technical portion of the installation process first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this strip off the sensor all right that has been removed now i'm going to take my grease i'm going to put a pea-sized dot of grease over the sensor now you want to make sure that you get this pretty centered on the propane tank because it can affect the reading. Now if you're unsure or not confident about this next step, you may want to consult a professional because it can be quite tricky. I'll take your questions. I'm not going to bore you with the installation of the second tank because it's exactly the same as the first so I'll go knock that out real fast and then we'll go check on the app and see if we're getting any kind of readings on the tanks. Okay so it looks like um, both the sensors are working properly. You can see that we have 100% level on one tank and 20% on the other tank but um, if you want to get some more information you can just tap on whichever tank that you want to get more information and click on the little arrow there and you can see how strong the signal is so if your signal is not strong you see like the little thing that looks like a wi-fi signal if that signal is not strong you probably have your your thing your sensor uh, positioned in the wrong spot so you may have to go out there and move it around a little bit until it gets into the right spot if everything's green there, you're getting a good signal and it'll tell you ex your exact tank levels. So I'm going to click on that top one that says 100%. It'll give you some more information. You go into there, it'll tell you your exact information, how much uh, exact percentage of propane that you have. And then you can uh, click the down and you can see even more information down there. 
on the sensor type and the device address and then the, the rate, which really doesn't matter. But then you, again, you can see your signal and you can see the quality over there in the top right hand corner with the stars to tell you how well your sensor is reading that tank. Now, if you install this uh, with the tank on its side and then you prop that tank back up, you'll need to wait a few minutes for that propane to settle before you get an accurate reading. It looks like everything is working properly. The only problem is I need to go fill up one of my tanks. Our controls are right here, but we chose to mount our monitor in here. So if you don't want to use the app, you can use this. And all you got to do is for tank number one, just push and hold until it comes on. It'll tell you how much propane you have. For tank two, press and hold. And you can see that uh, about the same. This looks, these top three look lit up because uh, it's a low light camera, but um, this would be what it looks like if it's all lit up. So it's reading about the same as it did on the app, 100% on one tank and about 20% on the other. Well, that's it. Uh, pretty easy installation of this uh, Mopeka propane monitoring system. If you want to get one of your own, we'll leave a link in the description of this video. Take you right to the product. Um, pretty inexpensive and very easy to use. And now we have 100% accuracy without having to have that other uh, gauge on there that really didn't work very well for us. So we're happy to have this. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're gonna honor a fallen hero. If you wanna learn all the ways that you can help us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is in the description of this video. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.